What's up, wall fans? What's up, common sensors? And what's up, especially brewery fans? That's right, it is me, the one and only Sean O'Rourke, coming at you with another Go Tell It to the Brewery beer review. I'm going to warn everyone right off the top. I am real biased with this one. Real biased. You know why? Because if you've watched other Go Tell It to the Brewery beer reviews, or you've listened to Go Tell It to the Wall podcast, or really followed any of my stuff on social media, you know that I'm a big fan of Stone. So for this particular edition of Go Tell It to the Brewery, we have the Stone Exalted IPA. Now, this one comes out of their Hop Worship series. You heard that right. Hop Worship series. Huh. What do you know? Hop Worship series from Stone. Oh, beers with a lot of hops in them? Oh, what a surprise from Stone. That's right. They just, they really stick to that hoppiness. And it's great the way they do that because I love all of their beers. And this one fits right into that same realm of beers that I enjoy. And they are quite tasty. The Exalted IPA. So to give you a little background, the Hop Worship Series, what they're doing is they're trying to celebrate and really bring to the forefront specific hops. Now, from a common sense standpoint, I've never been big on this individual hop is good, this individual hop. No, no, it's, it's hops. It's hoppy or not. However, when it comes to some of the brews that Stone is putting out, you can actually taste a difference in the hops. So for the Exalted IPA, they've got some citra and laurel hops in there. It's given it a very citrus taste without being one of those hazy IPAs, those New England IPAs that we've been talking so much about. Uh, and they're really just celebrating those particular hops. It is a tasty beer. It's sitting at 7%. 7%, so it's right in the same realm of most of the Stone IPAs and Pale Ales that they put out because they're really big on the hoppiness and they tend to be right around 7. So the Exalted IPA, highly, highly recommended. It's, it's, it has a refreshing taste to it because it has that little, little citrus flavor to it. Not super citrus. Now, don't quote me on that. It is not super citrusy, but it's a little smoother than your typical stone IPA because of those citra and laurel hops that are in there. So check it out, especially if you're like me and you're like, what hops or hops, hops or hops. And I'm still like that to an extent, but because of stone putting out these individually hopped beers, I'm learning a little bit more that there is a taste difference on the hops. Now, I'm probably going to just drink them all. However, with this one especially, and some of the other ones they put out, we see there is a difference. So go out, grab yourself an Exalted IPA. It's coming in 12 ounce cans or on draft, and it is available nationwide. So you don't have to be in California for this one. A lot of beers we review, you got to be in California, especially if it's a Stone Limited. You got to be in California, not for this one. Available nationwide, six pack, six pack, 12 ounce cans, or of course on draft if your local bar is a bar that keeps Stone on draft. And as always, I recommend any Stone beer. I've never had a Stone beer I did not like. Like there's some I like more than others, but I've never had one I didn't like at all. Always would recommend Stone Brewing. And I am biased. I am biased. If you don't know why, go back and watch some Go Tell It to the Brewery beer reviews. Listen to some Go Tell It to the Wall podcast, and you will see this little, you know, San Diego boy. And he got a little soft spot for Stone Brewing and all of the great stuff that they have done over the years. So grab yourself an Exalted IPA. And remember, wall fans, common sensors, brewery fans, no matter what you drink, no matter where you're drinking it, no matter who you're drinking with, and especially no matter why it is you're drinking, always drink with common sense.